Okay. I was told to control my emotions. I was told to worry about myself. I was told you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Okay. I'm going to control my emotions. Okay. I'm going to control my emotions. Okay? I'm going to control them. Alright? For the cat. For the pig. For the chicken. For the fish. Okay? How's that for control? Huh? Bon appetit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Let's calm down a little bit. <laughs> Let's calm down a little bit. Alright? Ugh. Ugh. Don't worry, guys. This is not a real gun. Okay. Everything's all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. I was told to control my emotions, guys. And to worry about myself. Ugh. I gotta get... I gotta get the last bullet. Yeah. I was told to worry about myself. Don't worry about anybody else. Just worry about yourself. Okay? Take your channel down. Stop making these videos. Stop trying to educate people about the food that they're eating and the consequences of it. Stop trying to save the animals. Stop trying to tell us to stop killing animals. Stop trying to tell us about what it's doing to the environment. Okay? Don't tell people that they have control over what they put in their mouth every day and exercising that control and using it with some responsibility can make a huge difference and can solve world hunger. Can solve world hunger. Don't tell people about that. There are more pressing issues. And then when I ask what those pressing issues are, what those more pressing issues are, I get told to go read a newspaper. Well, let me explain something to you. The meat and dairy industry is a very powerful industry. There are something called ag-gag laws, okay? Agricultural gag laws that say you cannot go into a factory farm and record and do things like that. The meat and dairy industry has created laws against doing things like that. So. It's not going to be in the newspaper, my friend. That's why there's the internet. Okay? Do you get it? Do you get that? Do you get it? So you want me to keep it all to myself and uh, don't try to save my friends and family and don't try to save others who are interested in this information. Listen, you don't have to be here. You don't have to come to this channel. I hope I'm controlling my emotions enough for you. <laughs> okay, because I'm naturally a very happy human being. Okay, but we are talking about 125,000 land animals every minute being killed and tortured unnecessarily, even more being tortured unnecessarily. And we're not even talking about marine life. So when you say control your emotions, I don't agree with you. I wouldn't want abolitionists of slavery to control their emotions. I would want them to get riled up. I would want them to fight. I would want them to really, really do everything in their power to get their fellow friends and family to understand that black people have rights. And brown people, dark skinned people have rights. Okay? And so would you. And the person that told me that, I'm pretty sure you're brown skin. I'm pretty sure you're brown skin. So you have to understand the same arguments that you are using to defend torturing animals are the same arguments that were used to defend enslaving us. So don't tell me to control my emotions. If you don't like it, just don't come here. But you know what? The message is going to get around to you anyway. 
because that's the nature of what's happening. That's the nature of the movement. That's the nature of humanity. That's the nature of compassion. You are compassionate about your dogs and your cats. You would be compassionate about an animal being tortured or slaughtered in the middle of a street. But as long as it happens in the factory farm, you're okay with it. Well, no. Okay, your compassion will catch up to you. And there is a race to reason right now. Okay, a race to reason. And that needs to be a new hashtag, the race to reason. And it should be a race for all those who are not compassionate about those things. You know, the moment somebody does become compassionate about those things and does go vegan, quote unquote, then they should be uplifted and exalted and hailed because this is the direct. This is the only thing that's going to save the planet. You know how they say, you know, love is all we need and love can save the world. And well, this is how love can save the world. You understand? You can't just say that. <laughs> okay. You have to do it. And the way that you love somebody is to let them enjoy their own morality. Let them determine their own morality. That's how you really love somebody. So you don't kill a chicken because it tastes good. And furthermore, chickens don't taste good. Chickens don't taste good. When's the last time you ate a raw chicken? Okay. That's what I thought. Never. Because chicken doesn't taste good. Okay. Seasoned, prepared chicken tastes good. You like seasoning. And seasoning is plants and vegetables. So that's what you really like. You're after the plants and the vegetable flavor, not the chicken flavor. And if you want that texture, then eat some tofu or, or eat some potatoes or, or something like that. And you'll get all the texture that you want. Eat some seitan, seitan, okay? And you'll get all the texture that you want. You don't have to eat a bird. If you just think about it, you just think about the fact that when you get sick, the remedy is to eat a bird, chicken soup. The remedy is to, to suck on a, a bird to cure your cold. That's insane. No, you're after the spices. You're after that effervescent aroma that comes from the, the spices. It doesn't come from the bird. So anyway, um, and, and, and the aroma that you do get from the bird is really disgusting. You know, now when I smell... Uh, chicken being cooked now, it just repulses me. I just smell the dead carcass, you know. I can really differentiate now between the smell of the spices and the smell of the carcass. And when I smell that carcass, it is just, oh, oh, man. It's, it's gross to me now. That's, that's just the way it is. You know, I can really distinguish it. But before, it's like, mmm, that smells so good. But now it's like, oh, no. I, I would never want to bite into the flesh of another animal again. I would never want to bite into the flesh of another animal. I mean, I have come back to my humanity. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to come back to the way you were when you were a kid, when you were pure, before you got indoctrinated into society, when you understood that little animals were to be played with and not eaten. You had to be taught to love the cat and dog but eat the pig and the cow. You had to be taught that. If you were never taught that, you would love all of them. They would all be your friends. <laughs> okay? But because you saw other people eating it and because it was fed to you before you had a choice, that's what you are now accustomed to. But the good news is you can change what you're accustomed to just by having a little mental stamina and, um, and a little compassion. A little compassion goes a long, long way. Okay, so, um, yeah, if you tell me to control my emotions, you're going to have to say hello to my little friend. Okay? That's right. It's for the pigs. It's for the chickens. It's for the cows. Huh? It's for the sheep. Huh? It's for the fish. One of them actually stuck to the screen. You can't see it, but it actually stuck to the screen. That's awesome. Nice. But uh, yeah, guys, so my name is Vegan Chris. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'm sure I'm going to have more people coming on my channel telling me to worry about myself and control my emotions and all that. But that's the beauty of YouTube is that uh, I don't have to control my emotions on my channel. I can let them run as rampant as I want.
Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.